Hi, I'm Scott DeUsa with Tether Tools, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the image overlay mode in Smart Shooter. Now the image overlay mode is really good, say like if you're a product photographer and you need to take picture of one product, but then replace it with another one and put it in the exact same spot. I'm going to show you how to do that with the lens that I have on this table right here, taking a picture with this camera right here. So let's go to Smart Shooter and take a look at this. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to shoot a picture of the lens that I have right now. And as you can see, there it is. Um, I want to replace this lens with another one, but I want to have it be in the same exact position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable live view on my camera, and then I'm going to come up here to the top to this, uh, this icon that says live view opacity. And I'm going to change this from 1.00, which is basically 100%, down to oh, somewhere around 50%. And uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this lens out of the picture and I'm going to put the next lens in the picture. Now, if you can see, I still have a ghost to image of the first lens. So now I'm able to take this lens, bring it into the picture, and I'm going to use the white dot as my registration marker where these two lenses line up. Something just like this. So right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the opacity back up. I'm going to take it out of live view and I'm going to shoot another picture. Now, if I go between the first lens and the second lens, you can see that the dot is in the exact same position. So I was able to actually put these two lenses on the same place in the table using the image overlay mode inside a smart shooter. So, if you want to learn more about Smart Shooter, please subscribe to our playlist on the Tether Tools YouTube site. And uh, if you have any suggestions for any Smart Shooter videos that you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments below. And I want to thank you for watching.